Welcome to Palio's Chalkboard Thursday. If you're wondering, yes, that is a horse. We are shooting in Saratoga Springs, New York, home of the oldest thoroughbred racetrack and sporting venue in the United States, Saratoga Racecourse, and home to Palio. We're an advertising agency. Over the next few weeks, we are going to fill this chalkboard with insightful, thought-provoking topics around branding, marketing, and multi-channel integration within pharma. So sit back and enjoy Palio's Chalk Chat. Over the past six months, I've been working on a, the product launch for an ultra-orphan drug indicated for the treatment of homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, a life-threatening genetic condition affecting less than one, one in a million. For this Chalk Chat, I wanted to outline some of the key fundamentals of marketing an orphan drug. First off, let's talk about what an orphan drug is and why orphan drugs are so unique. An orphan drug is a pharmaceutical product that has been developed specifically to treat a rare medical condition, also known as an orphan disease. Rare disease or orphan disease is defined as any disease that affects a small percentage of the population, defined as fewer than 200,000 in the U.S. The term ultra-rare or ultra-orphan refers to a market of fewer than 6,000 patients. Legislation known as the Orphan Drug Act was passed in January of 1983 in the U.S. to encourage pharmaceutical companies to develop, to develop treatments for rare diseases that have a small market and would otherwise lack sufficient profit motive. The law provides pharma companies developing orphan drugs with tax incentives, enhanced patent protection, market exclusivity, shorter and less expensive timelines for development, clinical research subsidies, and waived regulatory fees. So, why should we care? According to Reuters, over the past decade, the growth rate for orphan drug revenue has been 25.8%, significantly higher than the 20.1% pace set by non-orphan therapies. The orphan market is worth more than $50 billion, and researchers project that it will continue to outpace the rest of the field, in a large part due to incentives provided by the Orphan Drug Act. Now, let's shift gears and talk about some of the fundamentals of marketing an orphan or an ultra-orphan drug. First, not only identifying your target audience, both patient and clinician, but building and maintaining relationships with your target is critical to success. Typically, there's an extremely limited number of clinicians specializing in rare disease, and any one clinician could have access to a significant portion of the patient population. From a patient perspective, patient support groups play an exceedingly important role in clinical trial development and market access. Number two, marketing communications and education often trump promotional creative campaigns. Orphan drug marketing typically relies heavily on medical and patient education because often there's a real knowledge gap of the disease or condition. Also, the small numbers of specialists that will actually prescribe an orphan or ultra-orphan drug are typically high science-minded and tend to be more interested in the science than a promotional campaign. However, this is not to say that communications and creativity are not important. Scientific and promotional messaging <clears throat> is of the utmost importance, and creativity can be demonstrated through development of patient support program materials and unique brand systems and style guidelines. Number three, comprehensive patient adherence and support programs are a must. Orphan drug manufacturers want to be viewed as a partner advocate working to generate better health outcomes for a needy patient population. To that end, comprehensive patient education support and access and reimbursement services are crucial. Number four, expect that the FDA will require a risk evaluation and mitigation strategy or REMS program to monitor appropriate and safe use of the drug in a limited environment. And number five, due to the price tag on many orphan drug therapies upwards of $300,000 per script, payer marketing communications and strong access and reimbursement programs are essential. And last but not least, number six, Given the small market size and high service requirements associated with ultra-orphan products, distribution is typically handled through a specialty pharmacy offering comprehensive patient and caregiver support. Hopefully this chalk chat provided a quick 101 on orphan drugs and the unique challenges associated with successfully marketing these products. I'm Leah Warner, an account director at Palio, and I'm happy to bring you chalk chat. Thanks. <laughs>